Guys, I am in beautiful Williams, Arizona with my two oldest, eldest kids. Uh, we got a great weekend lined up. We got a fieldcraft survival camping trip. We got a tour of Casey Highlights. Um, just stopped real quick to fuel up, get the weekend started. It's also our first weekend in this thing. Cannot wait to test this out. So stick around. Williams, Arizona has a rich history and growing population. The city's origins can be tracked back to the late 19th century, when it was founded as a stop along the historic Route 66. Originally a bustling railroad town, Williams served as a gateway to the Grand Canyon and attracted visitors from all over. Over the years, the city has evolved and adapted to challenging times. Today, Williams continues to grow in population with a strong focus on tourism, outdoor recreation. Its charming downtown area is filled with shops, restaurants, and attractions that celebrate the city's history and natural beauty. The community takes pride in its small town charm and welcoming atmosphere, making Williams a wonderful place to call home. On the menu tonight, I have a pork tenderloin and lemon peppered asparagus. When prepping for a camp meal, keep it simple. I use an iCamper Disco and absolutely love the way it okay, performs. It the Disco is adjustable and allows for use over a campfire as well. I have a camp kitchen from Goose Gear at home. However, my 55 liter Dometic does not fit in it. So I need to order a fridge that will. And then also I'm gonna add a cook partner stove. These changes will drastically change my setup, prep, cook and clean up times. Perfect end to day one. <laughs> we had a beautiful 39 degree night and 55 degree morning. It should get up to around 75 degrees today for the high. After I discovered an empty coffee cup and made myself a freshie, we head over to our tour at the KC Highlights facility in Williams, Arizona. The coffee stillers had a great time with the rest of the crew. I put on at least one community event a month here in Arizona, 
During the hot summer months in the valley, I try to schedule them away from the triple digit heats. Whether it's camping, go rigs and coffee, or Casey highlights, there's always something going on. You can see what I have coming up on the Fieldcraft Survival website. Make sure to join us. A big thank you to Taylor for showing us around, and if you would like to see the tour, let me know. I can put up a full episode, or maybe schedule another tour. We have 10 acres, right? So this is all of our property throughout here. Sure. Like, we were trying to like brainstorm these ideas of like, what's that one thing, the thing that's like gonna be bring people together? inside view and this thing not too shabby drawers this is my pantry on this trip um, this is a bunch of storage for all my fill craft um, inventory for sale <laughs> and then I have my goose gear slide for my fridge all I have is two cyclones wired in here, so that's in there. No wind right now, but it was earlier. I'll make sure to do a full walk around once I get it all squared away. Um, I don't have my light wired in just yet up there, so let's see if I can show you this. Everything pretty much gets lumped to the back there when you raise it, but that's not a big deal. I have uh, our sleeping stuff, so you'll see better in the morning when I have light. But that's kind of how it goes. Two sleeping bags. Everything sits up here, which I really like. That I can store bedding up here and travel. So major plus. Just got to be careful you don't overload the struts because you can put too much up there. Lots of room. This is actually a toilet. So once I get... The sleeping platform that goes across to here it'll have a hinge door there that'll flip up for the toilet and then once i get the kitchen pod installed when i get back home and my new stuff it'll actually have the drawer that's already in it will make this a sleeping platform yeah pretty cool making our exit out of beautiful Williams, Arizona, gateway of the Grand Canyon. Beautiful day, man. I got it at right at 64 degrees. You know, 64 degrees during the daytime and like 40 at night is just like prime camping. Uh, but it's time to head home. So good first weekend trip in the Camp King camper. Got to get home, clean it out, um, work on, I still got to do power. So, uh, Got a couple things going with Battleborn um, for some batteries. Maybe Red Arc, or I think it's called Victron, I think is the other company. Maybe do some Victron stuff. I don't know. I haven't done enough research yet to purchase. But uh, got to get home, work on power, figure out the uh, kitchen setup a little better. Although I do love my disco, 
Uh, I am going to do a little, what is it, uh, camp stove setup so it's all built in, easy to pull, uh, pull out. My current fridge, my Dometic struggled this trip. i got to figure out why. I think the door on it is getting stuck. There's a common issue with them if you get them too dirty, which mine is definitely dirty. But anyways, that 55 liter does not fit inside uh, the camp kitchen pod for the goose gear setup that I have. So I ran it with just the slide that I had in the back of the bed before the, the camper. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. I need a thinner profile fridge now. So I think the 45 Dometic is the one that I'm gonna do, or maybe even a, a National Luna or whatever those are. Those are cool. I've seen a lot of those in some goose gear setups. Once I have those two items in, the camp kitchen is done, and then I can move on to you know solar power, Battleborn batteries, and inverter. One of the goals that I have for us as a as a family, but for this truck too, is I'd like to be able to take this truck out with some e-bikes, maybe like a Suron or something. Uh, little Mikey's got a Razor e-bike that he absolutely loves, and he asked me after I got him that uh, last year. He's you know he's like, hey dad, can you get an e-bike too so we can ride on the sidewalk? <laughs> so I really like his thought process. But what I'm thinking is, you know, me and him are heading out, or he, me, him, Sophia. Um, and I can easily throw, you know, a couple of e-bikes on the back of this. I think that'd be really cool. It's a lot more easy to carry something that light uh, than it is to carry, you know, several motorcycles on the back of the, of the truck. I mean, you just can't do it. Uh, I'm pretty much maxed out when I throw one of my bikes back there. So an e-bike, I think, is the best option. Anyways, uh, guys, I hope you like this episode. Here's some footage of us exiting this awesome area. And uh, stay tuned for more build upgrades i'm gonna do a walk around of my truck but also my two new motorcycles well one new motorcycle to the channel the other one you guys have seen and uh catch you on the next one